There's a difference between blessing and praise. Praise does not change anyone. Blessing changes someone. What do you want? Praise or blessing? Praise can be empty, but they're praising you. Blessing changes. That's why he started. Abraham blessed you. Isaac. Isaac blessed you. Jacob blessed you. The 12 tribes of Israel. If you can receive a blessing, it can change you. But you've been looking for praise. Everything big starts small. Starts little. Do not be deceived by people saying, stop this, you are going to do this. Stop this, you can do what and what. No, no. Everything huge starts little. When you take care of the little, it will grow. That's why God's plan for your life is good success, not failure. That you got to understand. It's not failure. His destiny for you is an common peace and not misery. And common peace. When you have a sincere heart, God will bring about what you are asking for. When you have a sincere heart, people can be sharing same blanket in the house, but they are strangers. Because of what they are keeping in there, It's not your outlook. No. That's why you can dress success, but you are a failure inside. It is your evil plans that God cannot bless. And these are the things that you are, you are wondering why my life is not going the way it should be. It is your evil desires. Your desires are continuously evil. The jealousies about someone else's success. I'll give you an example about jealousy or envy. There was a farmer who had very expensive irrigation system. Now, this irrigation was also spraying his neighbor's field. The water was going through somehow. After spraying his, the water was going to his neighbor. So, his neighbor was also prospering because of his irrigation. So, he thought over after time, he says, no, this can't continue. He built up a wall. So the water was not now going to his neighbor, it was remaining in his field until it became a dam and he lost everything. How about you? What have you built because of your friend's success? What are you keeping in your heart? Because that's what is hindering your success. Nothing else. It's not witchcraft or whatever, nothing. That can be defeated. Your evil actions. Many people, for their failures, they blame others. Whom are you blaming? You are here sitting, and those listening by television, you are blaming your situation to your background. Your background. Prophet, you don't know my background. Prophet, what I pass through? Where my background? Many blame their generational cases. For all their misfortune in life. 
I'm here to tell you many times that's not the truth of the matter. No. We forget to ask ourselves one important question. What role have I played to find myself in the situation I'm in? You have to know as you are sitting down that you cannot deceive God. I said it earlier, when you don't know, say, I don't know this year. Instead of continuously deceiving yourself, because nothing will change. When you don't have, say, I don't have. When you cannot help, say, I cannot help you. Sincere. Being sincere with yourself and with everyone else. God knows your nature. God knows your designs. Perhaps you forgot that God knows your true character. While you yourself, you don't even know your true character. God knows your true character. So why not just be open to God? And these are the things that are blocking you from having good success. There's nothing hidden from him. Nothing. You're wasting your time. Psalm 139 says, Where can I go from your presence? If I desire to go to the north, behold, is there. If I choose to go to the south, behold, is there. If I say I'm going west, east, is there. If I choose to the west, is there. Where can you go from his presence? Why waste time? Why delay yourself? Look at how old you are. Reevaluate your life. You've been doing the same things over and over and over. And what have you achieved? You are mopping your house with a tap on. What are you going to achieve? Ask your neighbor. Discuss. You'll be busy, but you achieve nothing. That's how we have been, a lot of us. Mopping the house. Mopping. The tap is on. You have Buying new broom, new mop, new whatever. And you're mopping. You even tell your neighbor, I'm very busy today. You know how busy I am. I'm mopping my house. You won't achieve anything. You'll be busy, tired and exhausted. But there won't be fruit to show.